Everybody. <laughs> I really upset my cat. Oh, I was very upset by this. Ms. Olive, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's sitting in my what? lap. You can kind of see her. You can see an ear. She didn't like it her that I made the sound. Slowly went back. But anyways, it's not about Olive. It's about all of y'all today. Hi, oh everybody. Gosh. Hi, y'all. How's it going? Welcome back. We missed Sunday's stream because of Mocha. And yes. then we missed Monday Drawfee stream because Mocha. Yes. But we're back now. Mocha's over. We slept once. We slept once, <laughs> and now we're back. And now we're back. Oh, uh, unbelievable. I remember meeting you. It was great to meet you at Mocha, too. Unbelievable. Yes. Thank we you, We also everyone. met... Um, Oh, Papa Beans. Oh, Papa Beans. That, oh, was yeah. a, that was a real treat. We uh, yelled that one. We yelled that one. Yeah. Um, we met a few a few secret sleep sleepers. Yammers, as we call them. <laughs> secret sleepers. Secret sleepers. It really makes it sound like they're spies. Or yeah. Like a Jason Bourne. Well, I think they are spies in the Droppy fandom. Oh, a little cryptid was there. Nice. It's, nice, it nice, was, nice. Everyone we talked to was very nice. Uh, we had a very nice time. One of the interactions that um, I remember that sticks out in my mind yes. was when Elim came up to see us. Yes. And we hadn't seen Elim in years since a con a good few years ago. Yeah. And Elim came up and was like, oh, I haven't seen y'all in forever, and I'm a guy now. <laughs> yeah. And I said... Congratulations. <laughs> and Elam just stared at me completely silently for like three seconds and then said, anyways, <laughs> and just kept talking to everyone else. It's <laughs> so good. Uh, it cracked me up. Elam really nailed it. Yeah. Uh, it was wonderful. It was the only correct response to yeah. what I said. I uh, thought it was appropriate. Yeah, it was good. Um, so many people saw us eating on the sidewalk. We just had to sit somewhere and eat. And all of you who decided to say, I'm not going to bother them while they eat and zone out with a thousand yard stare. You Thank know what? You. Thank you. It Big was thanks a blessing. to you. Yeah. Um, I was going to say something. Else. Oh, people are talking about the new detectives. Thank you very much. Oh, it's such a good episode. It was so fun watching it live with everyone. Yeah, I have to say big thank you, of course, to Karina for doing uh, a, a lot of heavy lifting in that episode. Um, without her, that episode would not have gotten up on time because a lot of things happened this month, the last month. But also Karina wanted to do it. Karina really desperately wanted to do it. She kept messaging me saying, Julia, give me. Let me do it. At the end, I remember specifically at the end of recording that episode, Karina turned in her chair and went, I want to do art for it. <laughs> and I said, okay. Okay. Uh, I think she's posting art from the episode on Twitter. I think she posted some stuff already. So. No spoilers, please, someone said. Yeah, I'm not going to say any spoilers. Anything, no spoilers. Just that uh, there's a lot of really good Karina art in it. Yeah. And that it's a really fucking funny episode. It's it's a very we had a blast. Yeah. I spent the entire time just laughing. So I do want to say that after let me start over. Yes. I do want to say that next month's episode has probably the longest breakdown of communication <laughs> due to laughter. Yeah. Maybe in like Drawfee history. Yeah. And it's not for any reason that anyone would ever expect or guess. It's yeah. a real slow build to everyone losing their shit for like a really long time. So look forward to that at the beginning of next month. What is the quote that Nathan says while he's while he's like crying? He's like, this is what it feels like to go insane. Yeah, he said, I feel like I'm losing my mind yeah. or something. Um, it's It's very good. Like, we laughed for so long that while I was scrubbing through the video, I got to that part, and it, it just lasted, like, five minutes. It's a really long... It's so funny. It's really long. It makes long. me, like, laugh till I cry every time. It's good stuff. 
Yes. Um, I'm going to read the subs and then I'm going to tell you about this game. Yeah. And do then it. we're going to play the game. Do it. Do it. Do what it. Is, do how it. do we feel about that? Yes. We got subs from Kate Dice, Reed Marks, Dammit, Peckish Cowboy, Wicked Me, Oh Papa Beans, Miss Kitty Cat Gamer, Moody Blues, Inkara 1010, Chaos Entity Zero, Unbelievable gave out five subs. Fancy Prance, Mirai Ray, Soft Bear Boy, Cryptors Creek, Roomful of Lesbian Vampires gave out two subs. Anemone Mini, Anemone Mini. Minor Music Major, Eevee Hellfire, Rutabug, Algedonix, King Rewind, Feral Doodle, The Mighty Pisces. Oh, Catherine Oakenshield. Oh. We met. Yes. And they told me that it was Cthorin. Yes. Oakenshield, because it's obviously, a, now obviously, a play yeah. on Thorin Oakenshield from The Hobbit. Yeah. And now I know for sure that now it's Cthorin Oakenshield. Tiefling Finn, Gtopia, Solo Azume, Joe Crazy Face, Local Dumbass, No Nuts Please, X Toxic Bucket, Elim Now Ezra, The Master of Razzing Me at Mocha, Moss Hysteria, Bunny Pirates, Small Casserole, Jester with His Ass Out, Leon Sleeps, With Wherewithal, Dr. Plant, Egg Woman, Agent White Herb, Lace of Diamonds, Just Renee, Jizton Bieber, Chemical gave out two subs, Liz, Hellarctos, Dyson Cube, Uncle Hayabet, Meow Shelly, Kekis the Beard Oil Salesman, Hail Alpha, Anti Gender, Little Old Bear, Cube is Horse, Viv Baffs, Angel Tazzy, Clarissa89, Board Librarian, Three Rats and a Hoodie, Vulpix, Blue Like the Clues, Medina, Brad and Ader One, Gravity Cupcakes, Nix Blau Beer Muffin, Icky Neko, Coriander Bandit, Slug Punk, Dear Man Give Fast, that one seemed like it was designed to fuck me up. Yeah. Dear Man Give Fast. I am Beth F. The Moon's Tears. Jupiter 89. Draz. Thank you, Draz. Thank you, Draz. Pizzo Mojado gave out five subs. It's Loop Liches. Lonely Dragon 49. Attack Cat. Tis -tis -tis Tisty Tacos. Tisty Tacos. Thank yeah. you. I got gotcha. you. Tisty Tacos. Blake is bad at games. And Jacob's dangly earrings. <laughs> I do want to say, Jacob, that both Thank you very much. Ezra and Cthorin are in chat right now. And I, yeah, I've they, seen. Yeah, I've seen. Okay. I'm very glad to see both of you. Yes. In person as well us. as digitally. Yes. What are we playing, Jacob? So we're playing today a game that I found um, through... There's a YouTuber called Thor High Heels. I don't know if any of you know Thor High Heels, but... It's a good name. I also don't know their pronouns, so I'm gonna say they. Uh, they're like do a lot of video game analysis stuff that's really fun of like really obscure stuff, but also they're a musician, and they did the music for. Um... Sorry, I got excited because Yip Yip Ring is the person who brought the worms. Oh, okay, you scared and me. And I, I couldn't <laughs> read the name, and I wanted to make sure that we talked about the worms at some point. You you frightened me. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, Thor High Heels did the music for that photography game we played, the name of which is escaping me right now. Yes. The one with like the squid monsters that are attacking. And, yep. Um, what's that game called? Not, not Pico Park. Not Pico Park. The one way before the Pico Park. Someone will say it. And Someone they'll say it will right. will remember. Um... Umarangi Generation, thank that you. one. That one, thank you, Board they did the They did music for Umarangi Generation. They also did music for this game, and they mentioned it in a recent video they did. And it's sort of a old school from soft style of game, like in the vein of Kingsfield or Shadow Tower, um, which I really love the aesthetic of those games, but like I don't really find them playable now. So I'm really excited to to try this out because I think it's going to really hit that spot. Uh, to go back to the worms. Uh, yep, yep, you've created a, a monster in joy she is obsessed with hunting the worms um at mocha yip yip brought us some worm toys for the cats i want to say real fast everyone please look at this incredibly good title screen yeah look at the way this mouse moves it's, it's truly amazing if that's not the most castlevania shit you've ever seen i love this moon and like the way the clouds move is so Symphony of the Night. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead, Julia. 
Uh, so Yip Yip brought us worms toys for the cats, which we've never had. We've never tried that with them because I didn't know they existed. Um, we hide toys that the cats really like in our table because it's like one of those ones that you can pull up the top and then hide things under. Um, Joy sat on top of that and stared at Jacob, but her eyes are also watery today, so it looked like she was just crying and waiting for wormies. But it has become her life's mission to kill the wormies. The moon. I guess it could be called Luna Sid. Since it's like moon, like Luna. Mm, yeah. That probably makes more sense, huh? You like you like birds. You like crows. <laughs> this is like when a kid tries to get their parent into a show. Whoa! Just you mom enemies cool. Whoa, whoa. 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 The heck is this fish doing? Calm down. Whoa. What's the deal with this fish? Long ago. Long ago. Oh, shit. Oh. A great beast came from the sea and brought with it a poisonous fog that spread across the earth. I box it. Corrupting everything it reached. The poison fog slowly transformed the world and brought about a new age. Teenage. Now grounded by the poison sky and outnumbered by creatures, humankind became desperate and formed feudal kingdoms. Closed off from each other, they became paranoid and are on the brink of extinction. Those deemed undesirable, such as criminals or the ill, are cast out. I'm pretty ill. Banished nice. into the See depths it. of the Great Well. A pit of the diseased and undead. The Great Well is said to have but one door to the surface. Where is it? I'll it. So we're knocking at the door. Oh, hey, it's the Great Well. Oh, I thought it was a kiddie pool. Context clues. Yeah, Julia, come on. <laughs> oh, it's a little cart lad. What do they say in the beginning of Skyrim? Is that how it's going to start? We're going to be in that little oh, cart. Oh, you're finally awake. Yeah. I told you we're getting dumped in a well in this game. Wee. No, please! Wretched thief. Thinking of stealing your life back? You belong to the depths now. Ah! Bonk! Oh, that was an axe. I thought he bonked us. No, he axed us. Axed us a question. <laughs> Have you ever heard of an oobly yet? Yeah. We're kind of in a big oubliette. We're in a big well. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know we'd be making characters. I didn't know we could be hot. We look like a nasty little fucker. Yeah. Name? Well. Frid. Lynn Mirren. <laughs> <laughs> well and Mirren. Yeah, good. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, a little cutie. A little cutie. Oh, yeah. Little demon cutie. Oh, this one's got two. Oh. A completely different art style. Oh, on I these like that ones. one. That was fun. Uh, I should say, too, this game is in early access. Oh, cool. Oh, I like that one. Oh, that one's good. That yeah. one's up there for me. External image. I guess you could put in an image of your own if you wanted. I like seven or eight is kind of where I'm, I'm leaning. This one or this one? Yeah. Eight. I like this one is my sort of vibe. Yeah. For sure. That feels like something you would draw. Yeah. Ooh, can we change our stats? We sure can. A hidden figure. 
from a faraway land cast into the well for their crimes. A valiant warrior, steadfast and determined, albeit lost without a king. They excel at combat and find glory in violence. A cunning magic user with a penchant for the dark. They thrive with the waxing of the moon and feed off their own lunacy. Damn. A bloodthirsty creature of the night, awakened by hunger. Where's the beef? <laughs> they are replenished by the shedding of blood, but weakened with fire. <laughs> I thought you said the shitting of blood. But they are replenished by the shitting of blood. <laughs> Very opposite from humans. A discarded corpse, unwanted by the world above, yet highly resistant and stubborn. A child of noble birth, inexperienced, but well equipped otherwise. Their lineage foretelling of importance. A nurturing <laughs> healer on a pil- I didn't realize there were so many classes. On a pilgrimage to help those who are lost in the great well. Put others first for better or worse. A silent, deadly <laughs> shadow <laughs> sent into the well to assassinate. They care not for the corpses left behind, only those ahead. A waste of <laughs> flesh! Notable for nothing less the dust it leaves behind. They have nothing to lose. Driven forward, only self-loving. All right, we're gonna be a vampire. We've done it. We're We've gonna be it. a room full of vampire. Let's go. Confirm. Well and Mirren, the vampire. Finalist creation. That's what I say when I finish a piece. <laughs> Finalized creation. That's what doctors say when you give birth to a child. They hand you your baby and they're like, you've finalized creation. Hollow basin. Damn, this is a hollow basin, huh? Hollow about that base, about that base, about that base. Plant? Oh, Attack a, plant. It's a plant that's been eaten by joy. Attack plant. Open coffin. Oh, I can like bump it. Is it a physics object? Bump it. Only kind of. It's dark. Help. Oh, I'm a vampire. I like that. It's dark. Good. <laughs> Blah. I'm stoked about how dark it is. I give it two blares up. Two blares way up. Oh. Ooh, I love it. They put the soundtrack coming up on the screen. That's great. This song is brought to you by Akira Kuma called... Lost graves. What's this? Save point? Use. Y oh, yeah. Save. You're joining us on 100.3 lunacy.fm. Replica sword acquired. Inventory? Weapons? This feels like a game that would be good with a controller. Replica sword. It feels pretty good with a mouse. Yeah? I mean... I guess because it feels so PlayStation-y. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a snappy. Yep. Just kind of flicking it. Yeah. 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 Fuck you. All right. Right or left? Left. Left. My vampire's blade. Chicka! 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 I hit so hard I bounced in the air. You did. What's this? Seek the slumbering creature of moonlight. They are the last existing door. Wow. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. That's going to kill me for sure. <laughs> Doink. And fuck you. And fuck you, and fuck you. Ooh, what's going on in here? The way piece. River of Death by Akira Kuma. 
give me that blood. You're joining us on NPR's Late Night Grave Show. I'm replenished by the shitting of blood. River of Death. By <laughs> Stop! <a> <laughs> You're joining us on NPR's Graveyard. A slug! Oh my god. We know how powerful oh. slugs are. That's a snail. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You right, do I'm, have a stamina I'm charging meter. my move? Yeah. I'm charging my move? Get back here. Oh, I can't, can't hurt that. Oh. oh! Okay, so you want to do big hits. That's going to be crucial. I got two coins. Akuma Kira. <laughs> Am I misreading it? It happens so quickly. You've seen it like four times, <laughs> and Three! it's like four words. <laughs> Three! <laughs> temple of Silence. Hollow you gotta Hansen. go to the Temple of Silence. I'm about to take you to the Temple of Silence, if you know what I'm saying. That's health. Health vial acquired. Ooh, Do I have to e equip it? Do I have to equip it? Quick items, health vial, a golden vial of blood, blood. How do I use it? Give me the game manual. Oh, this is awesome. I love this. Mouse look around, wise to move, left click, attack, right click, block, space jump, shift run, tab, I select, open close menus. C and V are for magic. It might actually be better with a controller. You might be right. Do you want the controller? Is that my computer? Give me the give me the controller. See how it feels. Yeah, give me the controller. It vibrated. Magic. Wait, how do I use my 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 squick items? D-pad up. Use quick item. Okay. Got it. Um, I'm gonna need to invert. Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. Who's Bob? What joke are you making? Oh, view Bob. <laughs> How do I leave the menu? There we go. <laughs> whoa, whoa. No effect. effect. What about this? Pulsating. All right, so we need a key. All right, we're moving on. Clearly that was the wrong way. We're gonna go this way. Jacob's so sick of Julia. He lives with me. He sure is. I just know the tone of voice when you've made a joke that you know I'm not gonna like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. all my jokes. God, they like chunked off his head. And I know I'm gonna have to like seek out the joke. Shitting blood. <laughs> Give me that experience. All right, I've got snail killing down to a science. Yeah. I can kill any snail. Any snail you see. What happened to y'all? Y'all are in rough shape. Disgraceful. Where's the key? Show me the key. Is there a key in here? No? Do you think I can jump down there? There's no way, right? I thought there was another path that way that you were going, but there's also this route. Yeah, we could go just go the other direction, huh? Yeah. Lost Grave. Julia's the Riddler of jokes. Akuma Kira. What? Use. 
say yes, return. See what's to the right. What's to the right of me? Hello? Doink! Doink! Well, this doesn't seem like it. I think there was another path the way that you were. Saw somebody say something about motion sickness. We can turn view Bob down. And the FOV, I think, and the would help. FOV up. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, that's a little too much. A little too much sensitivity there. We'll go like there. Turn off to on. <laughs> there we go. This will probably be better. It's so smooth. I'm just gliding, baby. Who, me? I'm just gliding. All right, ready? Well, I think there was a... <laughs> yeah! Torn by Akuma Kira. Nothing's right, I'm torn. I'm all out of faith. Oh my God, that game over screen. This is how I feel. Lost Grave by Akuma Kira. Hollow basin. Hollow basin. Tis a bit of a hollow basin. Okay, we'll go back this way. That was such a definitive. This was not meant for you. I wonder too if. I was wondering if I could make the. Aesthetic midnight. Yeah, well, that that's probably the menu aesthetic, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, like Silent Hill. Oh, yeah. Clean. Fun. That is fun. What does the PSX look like? Oh, it's just a little crunchier. Oh, I like it. A little too crunchy. River of Death by Kuma Kira. We don't need it to be that crunchy. What is clean like? Pretty nice. I think we'll go back to midnight. Yeah. If that's the intended gamer's experience. Yeah. Weren't you looking for a different setting, though? I was looking to see if I could make the um, the reticle brighter. Because that often helps with motion sickness. Yeah. For people. Oh, there is a reticle. I didn't even see the reticle. Yeah, the reticle's really dim. I'm assuming it gets brighter if I'm using, like, a... Oh, there's a snail in there. Hey! Hey! Yeah! Hey! Yeah! You hit me! I will shit your blood. <laughs> Come here. Come here, you. All right, what's in that room? Nothing. We killed that snail for nothing. Nothing. Just did snail aside. Committed snail aside for no reason. Okay, so this is the way with the key door. Mm-hmm. Can I like... You know where that door is? A key. Oh, like Spanish. Yeah. Like Spanish. Yeah. I get it. I made a I made a language joke. Hey everyone. It's like Spanish. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, where the heck is this key? I don't know, but we haven't been here before because there's snails alive. Well, I think they respawned. Have you been through there? Because you've gone that way. Yeah, maybe I've not been through I here. I don't think you've been this way. I think this was the way that I was talking about. Is this the way? Could this oh, be the way? Oh, I think I see a treasure chest. Or I see a snail. A That's oh pretty, my God, I've not a heavenly seen, snail. I've not seen this lighting situation before. I think it's a big snail. Frick off. Frick off. Oh, what you got for me, gamer? A couple cents. Is that a big snail? Oh, there's water in there. I think that's a big snail. Hey. Oh, you're oh, like a, a metallic shiny... snail. Milk snail. Milk snail. Oh, he's so powerful. Oh, we already have snilk. Snilk? Snilk. 
Yeah. I'd like to order a snail, please. I've de-snailed him. He just pooped out another snail. I'm pretty oh, sure that snail go. came up from the other room. Oh. Milk snail? I know you're in there, gamer. Face me! You coward. <laughs> you coward! You got him. I got him. Get out of there. Get out of there now. You like how I come into their territory? Yeah. Icicle? Ooh. Yo. Let's check out that icicle. What? I think you could have a second way boom. Ice sickle. Oh, that's replica sword. Ice yeah. sickle. Curved blade. Some ice Equip. magic. Okay. How do I switch weapons? I figured ah. it out. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I'm officially an icicle haver. That's also a pun, huh? Mm -hmm. On an icicle. It is. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Jacob's trying not to get mad at them. Whoa, what was that creature? Snail. No. Boog. Larva. Big boog. It was like a big nasty lad. Oh, there's something over here. Is it the key? No, no it looks like, like a, a magic potion. A magica potion. Oh, I see this item flash in the distance. I see this item flash in the distance. What's the the bug that's like in carpets? It's like a bear. Like a a bear, bear bug. Water, water, bear, water bear? Is it a water bear that I'm thinking of? Bear bug. Bug bear. When I owl bear. When I go to Texas, I love the first place I go to eat is water bear. Yeah. Shulker. Ew. Oh. oh, what the heck? He put me in jail. Oh, you can't use the right side. I'm in prison. Let me out of jail. Can you, oh, you don't have a left hand. Don't, don't you dare! Don't you dare! He's shulking me. I'm gonna equip into my left hand. Oh, he's coming. He's but coming. I don't think I can equip into my left hand. You don't have a yeah. left hand. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I don't. I, yeah. We talked about this. Jesus. This dude is shulking me. I gotta go. I gotta go. This dude is shulking me. He's really chaining it. What's this? Ghost light. Is he still coming? Yeah. Equip real fast. No, he's, he's not mad at me anymore. Ghost light. Summons a spectral orb of light that follows the caster for 45 seconds. Equip. Okay. How do I use that? Is it like right or left on the D-pad? Oh, mm -hmm. that cycled through your items. It's probably one of my batons. Yeah? Oh, I have to charge it up. Oh. Ghost light. There it goes. I'm ghostly lit. What do you think about me now? Huh? I got ghost light. Oh, shit. We can beat him. We just got to play it smart. We hide. We distract him with the ghost light. Oh, he shot me through the rock. How'd the rock feel Get about him. that? Get him. Get him. Wow. Get him. Get him. Strafing tactics. Shulk him. Yes. Nice. I shulked him. Good job. All right, so that, that wasn't the key. This was not the place of the key, no. I think I should use my healing potion. I don't think I've been down this away. Correct.
Another water bear. Oh, no. Two water bears. Oh, no. Run, Jacob, run. We're just going to go on through. No, we're fine. Juke him, Justin. We're fine. We don't need to battle. There's no reason. There's nothing down here. Maybe we could kill him an item up here. Hit. Tactic. There's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do. <laughs> he had no recourse. Got his ass. Too come well in. Oh, but there's a way there. Oh, there's a way there. Get him. Come on. He shulked me. I've been shulked. <laughs> oh, just you wait. Just you wait. Hey! No attacking while I'm shulked. Get him! Get him! Oh, I got hung up. I got hung up. That's dangerous. Oh my god. Oh, he's really hauling off. But so am I. He shulked me. <laughs> you gotta keep your distance while you're shulked. That if he shoots lasers, you can dodge. Strafe him. Strafe him, no problem. You get back in there. Out, Good job. out shulk the shulker. <laughs> shulk him, Sheldon. <sighs> okay, this is going to be where the key is. Do you think our other weapon might do better? We've not attempted to use this on the shulkers. Let's do more damage. What are you gonna do? You shulked me. Should have known. Should have seen it coming. That's what they do. I don't even have the health to, to deal with this. Shulkers gonna shulk. There's we, we pathways upon pathways. Come on. Take me somewhere good. I should cast my spell. Ghost light! Go! Treasure! We love treasure. What's this? Flame spear? Excuse me? Oh, oh it seems like a spell. Mommy. Oh, mommy. E That'll get the shulk. Created by Fire Witch Ashley. Ashley? Ashley? Good job, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. I wonder if that was a game backer or something. You want me to turn the game volume down a scooch? Why you don't enjoy hearing... I've scooched it. Game volume scooched. Hello? Who dat? Are you a friend or a foe? She's got red eyes. I am just warning you. Hey. Hey. Oh, wasn't that one of the avatars we could have selected? I want to want to talk. Demi. Well, you look a little lost. This area is called Hollow Basin. It's the highest point of the Great Well. It's also one of the safest areas of the Great Well. Except, of course, Wings Rest. Speaking of Wings Rest, I can spirit you there if you want. If you want? Um. No. No. We want to explore. Alrighty. Well, I'm here if you need to get there. I mean, if it's just like a town, maybe I should go there, you know? Oh, this looks like a Schwart cut. Oh, it's one of those doors. Is this the one that goes to the save? Save the save guy? I suspect it is. I think we may have Dark Souls shortcutted ourselves. All right. Hell yeah. 
Let's go. Lost Grave by Akuma Kira. Your favorite song. <laughs> Level up. I got six skill points? Damn! Yo. Okay, we have a lot to consider here. What, is, what does Dex do? Defines jump height and damage done with ranged weapons. Mm. Okay, I probably won't use too many ranged weapons. Well, maybe. I don't know. Intelligence, maximum mana, spell damage, and how fast spells charge. Okay. How long status effects take to wear off. Maximum running speed. We love that. Maximum health and how much can be blocked before your guard is broken. Mm. Maximum health and damage done with melee weapons. Mm. Is this Ava? What are you talking about? The, the Tree of Life is on either side oh, of the menu. Oh, I see. that in the intro in Ava and Ava. I see. I was confused, but yeah. not anymore. The, the Tree of Life from the, from the Bibble? I think we'll go with some strength, some defense. Maybe we get those to 10 for some melee ability. Mm -hmm. And then maybe um, maybe um, speed. Yeah, the Bible from Ava. <laughs> Is speed just maximum running speed? It seems like it. Seems like it. I feel like that implies that I'll want to have more. Yeah. This will be good. We'll go with this. Level up. Save. Ooh, our health uh, filled up. Uh, yeah. All right, should we check out Wing Wing Zero or whatever? Yeah. Now that Gundam we open wing. the shortcut. Take me to Wing Zero. Oh yeah. Want to go to Wings Rest? Yes. Gotcha. One moment. Here we go. Wings Rest. Man, I forgot to read the song title. Is that a little savey crystal? Hey! All right, so we should definitely be looking for those in the ground. Yeah, they're pretty bright, so. Ooh, there's a guy over there. We got beats. Oh, we, there's lots of people over here. Crystal shard acquired. Crystal, more like crystal shard. Don't say that. Ocean bone shard. Is that Billie Eilish song? No. Yeah, it was a stretch. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, this warps you back to Wings Rest. Wings Rest is a tongue twister. Ring, 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 wings wing rest. rest. Every time I have to say it, I have to take a moment. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's friends everywhere here. Oh, I love that witch over there. What's Hello. up, Demi? Oh, good, it worked. Last time I tried that spell, it only worked about halfway. So this is Wing's Rest. It's an old temple of sorts made by a sect of holy monks. They were banished into the great... Well, I keep reading everything in caps as like a yell. They were banished into the Great Well back during the Crusades. Although they were long gone, although they are long gone, their protective magic still lingers. Take your time and relax here. If you want to head back out, use the crystal where you came in. Okay. I'm going to talk to everyone. Hello. A bird. What? Hello. It's Cheryl the Crow. Oh my god, Cheryl Crow. That's an actual joke. <laughs> oh, what a mess you've been caught up in. Welcome to the Deaths Outsider. Escape to the Outworld has long been a myth. But if you're going to explore, why not prepare yourself? Fancy a new trinket, perhaps? Yeah. Oh, I got four coins. That's an actual joke. Jacob, you killed me. 
Sorry. Lay on the floor. Hey, sorry. Okay, so I don't. I can get an enchanted key. Do you think that's the key to that door? Probably. If you click on it, does it? Mm. A bewitched key made from ocean bones, able to remove the old enchanted gates that were put up in place after the Crusades. Yeah. Yeah, give me that. I say go for it. Thank hey, you. while we're in town, should we do an ad break once you're done talking to everyone? Sure. Hello, Etna. Salutations, our Mandel. Welcome to the depths. I'm Etna. I study the sacred arts of alchemy down here. If you happen to have any materials during your journey, you should bring them to me. Want to do some alchemy? Yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I got an ocean bone shard. Forge. <laughs> no, you need more than that, I guess. Yeah, apparently. She All just right. takes it and hands it back <laughs> to you. Well, I've done what I can. Now this here is a friend. Well, hello there, Sonny. People call me Clive. No, oh, that's not really my name. I seem to have lost it. My memory isn't quite what it used to be. But my bones is good. I stay young by drinking these little health tonics. Here, why don't you take some? You look a little mealy. Be careful of wander in the depths. Not everything out there is as peaceful as a skeleton. Thank you. Every time you pull out your sword, it's very threatening. What's this? The moon. The moon. I've heard of that. Cry to us in our time of need. Wee. Wee. <laughs> down there. Blood's under the edge. Oil. Oil. Weapon, weapon is, is not, not ready. ready. Damn. Your Sorry, everyone. Must be ready for the oil. Weapon is not ready. Hit. What a nice little spot. We want to run some advertisements? Let's do it. So be it then. So be it. We shall run three minutes of ads and we'll be back to continue playing. Yes. Starting now. Yes. Ads are running. I hope you like ads because they're running. How's everybody's night going? Are your allergies hitting you? No, I'm good. Oh yeah? Yeah. You sound a little stuffy. I'm always stuffy. You just sounded more stuffy than yeah. you're like a little allergy stuffy, so I wasn't sure. No, I've been congested all day. Oh, okay. But not like that bad. Okay. 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 I'm drinking some sleepy time tea. It's nice. I've been sleeping kind of weird the past couple of days, so. I'm drinking some wine. I was telling Julia earlier that every time I think about the word wine now I immediately think of Caldwell saying some say I have urinated in my wine but some they might. would be speculating <laughs> some might some say might say urinated. yeah whatever the quote is the way he says wine wine I think of it every time that episode was very funny tiny Kendra you purchased some wormies for your kitty Yes. So. I hope they like them as much as uh, our cats do. Our cats have gone bananas for the worms. They're obsessed. I don't know where Joy went. She's probably still looking for where we hid the worm. She's still laying on the table. She was just searching around for it. No, she's given up. She's Thank given you. up for now. Kitsune streaming said, I need art help. How do business? Oh, that's a hard one. Do you mean like running your business as an artist? Or how do you get business? Or how do you get business? In terms of are you cold? Yeah. Oh. Are you cold? No. Are I'm a little warm? I'm a little warm if anything. Oh, well I can zip up my No, it's fine. You can leave it closed. Entered. 
Joy is now sitting on the carpet, which means that she wants to play. Of course she wants to play. There's wormies at stake. They're both sitting on the carpet. You're trying to start running your own art business. I see. It's a big question. That's a big question. There's <laughs> lots of steps. You kind of have to gain... I, well, I guess it depends on what your art business is. You have to either gain followers or clients. Yep. Got to get that portfolio, depending. Yeah. Well, you have to get to the point where you're getting business. Yeah. And then you have to learn how to run a business, which is a totally separate set of skills. Yeah. And a big pain. Yeah. We've been learning it slowly yeah. since we've launched Droppy. God, I just had to do business taxes, and oh boy, that took basically a solid week. Week and a half. It was bad. Taxes are the worst part of owning owning a business. Yep. Oh, there's Olive. How's Joy's tummy issues? They seem okay for now. We'll see if the medicine stuck. Our doctor told us to give it a week. Duncan Bix, King of Tricks, said, LOL, if you want to succeed as an artist, first succeed as an artist. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean... But it's true, though. I, what I'm saying is you don't need to worry about the business until you have business. Like, I don't know what stage the person's at who's asking the question. Yeah. If you're, like, just starting out with art, you need to get to a point at art where you're getting business before you start running a business. Mm-hmm is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So there's like various levels you can be at and it really changes what you need to focus on depending on where you're at. Oh no, I didn't think it was rude, Duncan Bix. It is like what it sounded like I was saying. Oh yeah. So I was just trying to clarify. It is like both a silly answer, but also a true answer. How do you start getting business? You need to make a large quantity of art and hope that you gain a following in the process. Is the only way I know how. It's uh, it's hard. It's really difficult. But there's not really like a trick to it that I know of. I just started posting things on Tumblr until I had a following. I had a portfolio and applied for an internship at a place. Yeah. But if you're trying to start your own business, that's not going to help you. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah Bear Baby said, as always, when it comes to these things, the answer is it depends. And it super is. It's also yeah. hard because everyone's journey is different, too. Yeah. It's both comforting and frustrating uh, to get answers for this question because it's like, it's comforting because anytime you ask anyone their answer is going to be different um so it's nice because there's not just one way to do it but also there not being one way to do it is frustrating because you you don't know how to do it it's like kind of nebulous yeah there's no like you have to find tried and true roadmap it's not like becoming a doctor yeah where it's like if you want to become a doctor you do these things in this order mm -hmm. and then you're a doctor it's like you have to sort of because you have to figure out what works for you and like your style of doing things and how you can find the most success. We were just talking earlier about, because Julia was talking about how she still thinks it's weird when like these like really incredible, like professional artists like follow and enjoy Drafi. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I didn't think that this would be the way I made connections in the art field. Yeah, or like, like they watch comedy. SSS. Yeah, or they like watch SSS and it's like, it's kind of a weird roundabout way to make connections in the art field that you wouldn't expect. And we're like, you never really know how it's going to play out. You kind of got to see what's working and chase that. I think also, you know, not to keep keep on this for too long, um, but uh, a piece of advice that I got from a professor who otherwise sucked, uh, advice that I got from him that I feel like as I keep going in art uh, rings more and more true but it's the people who don't make it in art are the people who quit. Yeah. Because I know so many 
artists who are wildly talented who didn't get hired just because they didn't really try so they just stopped uh and then alternatively i've seen art that i've been like like i've thought that it wasn't the best and they have all these like book deals yeah absolutely and I'm like, how and then i look and it's just because they're always trying yeah they're always working always trying to find their niche they put in so much effort to get those jobs so it's like it doesn't matter you could be the best artist in the world if you don't know or if you just stop and you don't try to hello hello there we go sorry go ahead um <clears throat> You know, if you stop or if you only apply for one thing and you get discouraged and that's where you end your career, like that that's that's why you didn't get a job is because you didn't try as hard as someone who applied for a, a bajillion things and kept at it and kept working, who maybe isn't as good at art, you know, quote unquote. Yeah. So. I don't know. Chili looks like she's ready to go out. I have a sweater on. I'm chilly. There's a chill in the air. There's a chill in the air. I'm drinking tea. River of Death. Akuma Kira. <laughs> You're listening to NPR's Great Grave Shift. Grave. Great Grave Shift. Great Grave Shift. Hey, Great Grave Shift. Hey, Great Grave Shift. You're listening to NPR's Night Shift. This is... What was the sound called? Life After Death by Akira Kuma. Boom! That wasn't that great, actually. You shulker. Can you cast spells when you're like this? You can. Got him. <laughs> Shot him in the butt. Nyarg says you're listening. You're listening to NPR Great Ow, Great dude. Glove Ward. Great. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Oh, I see you got a potion back. Well, the skeleton gave me one. Oh, right. Why do you keep shulking me? Ow. Ow. Why can't I attack? Oh my god, that was horrible. I had a miserable time. Oh, hello. <gasps> a potion. A potion? You love a potion. Oh, I got the key, right? Yes, you did. So I can go back. Yeah. To the door. Back to life. Back to reality. Someone's talking about how I'm wearing a sweater. Uh, so something happens to my body where if I get tired, I get cold. And then if I get cold, I get tired and it just cycles. And that's what's happening. Is that I'm like, I haven't been sleeping well the past couple of days. Uh, have you considered sleeping better? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Why don't you try I that? I had a bunch of weird time. dreams last night. Have you considered having normal dreams? It's like the answers are so obvious, but you don't want to do them. I had a dream last night <laughs> that Jacob, we had to go to a wedding for one of Jacob's friends and Jacob only told me the day before that we were going to fly out there, but I wasn't ready. So we were like on our way to the airport, but I realized that I didn't have any luggage with me. Do you have to use it? I'm working on it. All right. Oh, got him. All right. You were in the middle of saying something. I was just talking about this dream. And then you were really mean to me about the fact that I wasn't ready. Well, we had to make it to the wedding I just told you about. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't have an outfit. Ooh. I didn't have shoes. I didn't have makeup. I didn't have anything. 
What did you just pick up? A torch. <gasps> a torch. Can I... What's the damage on this? Seven, and that's five. But, but the other one can slash, yeah. They're like double speed, almost double speed. Oh, you have weapon experience, I just noticed. Yeah, I noticed that too. I don't want to do, 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 no, 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 no. Do, no, no, no. Do, do. Return. What keeps tripping me up is that there's not like a button to just go back. Like, normally B would do that, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. No buttons do it. So I keep trying to go back and then, like, failing. Yeah. Look at me now. Yeah. I'll light you up. Mm. Um, I was going to say, too. Yes. About art. Yes. About starting your art business. Yes. Is that I think a place where a lot of people uh, mess up is that they they don't look to people who are already successful in their field mm. and then try to replicate what they're doing. I think that's something you should do. Yeah, it's a good point. That's what I did when I started. I looked because I wanted to be a web comics artist, so I looked towards the best web comics that I knew. Yeah. The people that were doing it professionally. Yeah, see and what's working. I was working. like, how are they doing it? How often are they updating? Yeah. What kind of thing are they making? Um, how can I try to like do something similar? Cerebro Temple by Akira Kuma. It's Akuma Kira. <laughs> I'm sorry, Akuma Kira. <laughs> it's Akuma Kira. I don't know why I keep messing um, it up. I apologize. But I know a lot of people that sort of just like were making art kind of aimlessly yeah and they like would make a lot of art but not really with any purpose in mind yeah towards advancing their career like if you want a career in it hello whoa are you a guy uh he doesn't have a head he's not a guy uh yeah and i mean if you and if you have a hard time figuring out why one person is successful um Maybe do like, you know, look at a number of people who are in similar fields who are successful and try to find the common thread there. Again, like Jacob said, how often are they posting? What kinds? How are they posting it? And like, why do you think their stuff is like hitting? Yeah. As well as it is. Because it's been noticed by you. And, you know, it's been noticed by other people. So why does it attract you? You could always look at it like that, too. Art's interesting. I'm terrified right now. This place kind of weird. This is great. A little eerie. It's a song. Hello. Hello. What number of rich parents do they have? I think with art, art's a pretty level playing field, unless you're talking about fine arts. What having rich parents can't help you with is the freedom to yeah. explore your craft more. Yeah. Like, Time. I don't have rich parents, but I did have stable parents mm. that allowed me to, after college, move back home for a year. Mm. I lived at home for a year after college while I started, just tried my best to start up web comics and then... Um, you know, I had that like backing so that I knew I could stay with them if everything fell through. Um, is that a book on the floor? Oh, soon we'll be free of the accursed well for great prophet Abdul has found a way out. While we are tethered here physically, our minds can be extricated with enlightenment. That doesn't seem good mm -mm. for you. I think you're, you extricated your whole head. You're not full of anything right now. Yeah. Hot air. Hey. Um, but I know it was a big help to me to have that stable foundation and to know that like if, you know, because I worked retail at a pharmacy, mm -hmm. but like if I lost my job, if I couldn't make comp money making comics, 
Yeah. If I could no longer afford to like live in an apartment where I was living. Yeah. Um, I wasn't going to be on the streets. Like that's the benefit of, of having that type of foundation. And it can be a, a huge benefit. Ritual dagger. Oh. Yeah, my parents, not rich. Um, certainly not when I was in high school and before then. Um, but they were generous enough to let me Poison. live with them post-college so I could save. I mean, I worked at College Humor starting while I was in college and went straight to it, but... Double speed, half mm -hmm. damage. Let's try it. Let's try it's it. It's got poison damage. Oh, that's nice. I did not mean to do that. Use up my damn potion. Ooh. It's so fast. Yeah, yeah. I can't see anything. Yep. <laughs> the key to building a stable foundation. The key to building a stable is having a stable foundation. Yeah. That's also true. If you want to build a stable, if you want to build any sort of structure, yeah. you should have a stable foundation. Also, I know the internet likes to shame people from multiple directions for, you know, living with their parents. Um, uh, don't listen to those people. It's just stupid. If you have the ability and the kind of relationship with your parents that you can live with them and save and stuff like that, hell yeah. Power to you. Do it. Oh, that guy's alive. Oh, hello. Are you a foe? Yeah. Hey! Get him! Wow, oh, it does like no damage, huh? Well, it's supposed to poison him. <laughs> I don't think this is good. I think this is bad. I think you should like block when he goes to attack. This only has 20% block. Oh, well that sucks. How about this? How do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? Light him up. Torch him. Chris is here. Chris is here. You're gonna be Hi, seeing Chris. Chris soon. Chris, we gotta. I'm poisoned. What is this bullshit? <laughs> I'm gonna die. I take a healing potion, my dude. Oh, there's a book on that. I'd rather just die. Wow. Just kill me. Just Chris, take I'm, me. I'm seeing you Tuesday. Just take me to hell, take where I belong. Me to hell. Chris, I'm very excited about this. Yeah, Julia's been talking about it. Basically nonstop. <laughs> I missed I missed the song name. It was someone different. Okay. We have to try again. When am I gonna get another one? I'm I'm thinking up my, my next idea for one, but I wanna get one soon. Yeah. I'll be in touch, don't you worry. But I definitely want to get another one sometime soon. I've been having a few ideas recently. Yeah, I got a few more I want to get for sure. <laughs> Let me do an SSSI on your forehead. <laughs> might be a little too much dedication. <laughs> what if we change our logo? I shouldn't have gone this way. Why'd you go this way then? I thought it was going to be better, but it was worse. Let's try jumping down the hole again. It went so well the first time. Yeah, I think SSSI on the forehead will be next. Yeah. And then sort of like a full Yakuza style back tattoo. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be what I get after that. Yeah. Or on the butt. Yeah. I've got different plans for the butt. Okay. I want on the left cheek it to say B-U and on the right cheek T-T. 
What what so if you it's have sort of labeled? T O O T. Because that's what it does. Because that's what it does. It toots. Yeah. That's also good. Please don't change it. Oh yeah, I meant to put up the the thing. Yeah, we haven't put up the fan art we got yet. Oh, I don't know where the end of that one is. We can show some of it though. Oh my god. <laughs> the cats are running. The cats are going crazy. It's just joy. The cat is going crazy. Presidential alert, the girls are fighting. Okay, which way? We gotta play which way was it to get back to the horrible place I just was. Oh, this is health potion room. That's good to get. Here, I'm gonna show off the good episode. Got this. Yeah, it's so cool. Embroidered. Embroidered. I just keep thinking about, and it's stupid, but when Julia said SSSI, it made me think of Mississippi. And I've been saying this to Julia all the time because I saw it on like Twitter or something. Where it was like someone saying, like, what do you think of this pickup line? Girl, are you from Mississippi? Because you're the only miss whose piss I sippy. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't stop thinking about it. It's stuck in my brain forever. <coughs> and it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> the SSSI is officially on the mantle, by the way. <laughs> That's Chad horrible. Did not enjoy this. No, it's good. It's really funny. <laughs> I didn't make it up. I just read it. I just read it and I laughed. Okay. I don't have. Oh, I have to equip the key. Oh, you scared. You scared me. I scared myself. I don't have the key. Anyway, it was. I don't have the key. Why? Did you not buy it? I don't. Did we use it? I don't think I bought it. I think I saved before I bought it. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'll go back. Just freaking. Just, just quit. Just quit. Oh, I didn't want to exit the desktop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, hold on, everyone. Look, hold it's, on. It's on the. It's on the fireplace now. Hey. It Hey, Apparently it glows in the there dark. It is. So, so thank you again for that. Okay, we're booting it back Joy! up. Get your butt out of the box. She's in the fan art box. <laughs> that joke almost made me do a spit take with my tea. It's funny. I know it's bad, but it's also funny. So funny. Give me the thing. Remember to get the potion from the skeleton. Yeah, I'll get the potion from the skeleton. Ka -ka -ka. Give me a new trinket. You're on the X. You're on the X. I can't do anything! There we go. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Everybody needs to calm down. Everyone's freaking out right now. And I'm the only one who's calm and rational. Skeleton. Give me that good potion, please. Thank you. Everyone else here is worthless. And I will be leaving immediately. And I'm going to save again. Yes. And then I'm going to warp. And this time, it's all going according to plan. We're going to go back this way. We're going to speed run strats, pick up the potion. I'm just thinking about the joke again. <laughs> it's a silly Momo said I'm being gaslit by everyone who thinks that joke is funny. <laughs> It is funny. It's just a funny series of words. Because it's not what you expect. It's not what you expect. It's wildly inappropriate. And it's yeah. got the, the word sippy in it. 
which will make me laugh on its own. It just, I mean, this is why I showed you that TikTok of that guy that was like, there's two sides to me. My good side? My good side and my ass. My ass side. <laughs> oh, that one really cracked me up. I don't know. Some some humor is just a little too highbrow for some people, I think. You know, it's it's really an intellectual's joke. So it's sort of like that Rick and Morty intellectual humor. Oh god. <laughs> Someone just typed it in the chat and I laughed at it again. <laughs> I think what also made that TikTok better, the one that's my uh, my good side and then my ass, um, was that he really presented it like he was going to be, I could be your your ankle or your double. Yeah. And it was also in a thread of like cringy TikToks and it really made me laugh. Made me laugh more than that dude that was just standing there shirtless uh, making faces. And I was like, stop. Stop it. Stop. This is very uncomfortable for everyone. Every time I successfully navigate to this door, I'm impressed with myself. You did a good job. Because I keep thinking that I don't remember where I'm going and I'm going the wrong way. But I always end up here again. And I think that's beautiful. I'm proud of you. Enchanted key. Equip the key. We use the key. Ooh, we gotta see that again. Okay, back in. We're gonna get the torch. This time I'm gonna summon the ghost light to guide me. Get the torch. <laughs> oh, look, Greto just got back. We still talking about piss. No. No. Not until you just brought it back up. You did this. You did it. You did this. I was done talking about it. Did you get that torch? I got the torch. Okay. I'm just not illuminating it yet. Wow. This is how I like to play it. This is how the true gamer plays. <laughs> Welcome to the big dogs league. I see nothing. Oh, I hit a wall. Big dog. Right, I, I see a glow. I see a light. Cerebro Temple. This is how the big dogs play right here. You don't need to see when you can feel. Feel your way through the dungeon. <laughs> With wherewithal said, the big dogs league. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a league. The league where all the big dogs play. Yeah. What's there? What's there to get? Ghost light. Ghost light is like gaslighting, but it really good instead. But you can't tell who's doing it. You can't tell who's doing it. You just kind of get. I'm being gaslit from beyond the grave. <laughs> it's like when you feel like life is gaslighting you. That's when that's gas life. Oh, okay. No, that's the gas life. The heck are you talking about? Like a ghast, like a like a ghost. Isn't that another word for a, for a ghost, like a, yeah. a ghast? Yeah, it is. Isn't that? Yeah. Isn't that? <sighs> that yeah. one made sense. I guess. That one made sense. But we had already said ghost light, and you just changed it to ghast light. This is what ghast. Now I'm being gaslit. There's the ritual dagger, which I will not be equipping. You know, the ghost light doesn't actually illuminate things very good. It's a ghost light. Here's the shortcut thing. I like that noise. Yeah. Wee! Hi, Olive. Hi, sweetie. 
Oh, there's some Trezior over oh, here. Oh, Trezior. Oliver, have you come to step on my keyboard? Yes, always. What is this? Lithomancy. What does that mean? The hunger is to live. Nope. To hunger is to live. <laughs> to consume is to die. Olive, what was that? What are you doing? What are you doing, sweetie? I don't know what that means. Oh, look, they're worshiping a spiral like Uzumaki. Let's see about this ring we got. Oh my God, did you get engaged? What's going on with you tonight? That one made sense again! I, I feel like you're doing, you have a really high volume of jokes tonight <laughs> and, and none of them are working for me. That one made sense again when we were talking about rings. Forbidden blood magic that gives life to the inanimate the objects only scream. It's unknown what the purpose of this spell was. Oh my God, yes. What? I, I gotta, gotta use that immediately. Olive, Olive, Olive. Olive, sweetie. Olive, my girl. Arf. She keep putting her like tail almost in my mouth. I'm gonna bring this box to life. Bring it to life. I got hurt. Did that not work? What about you? Can I bring you to life? Your spell is charging. What are we using on? I don't know what's happening. It's just hurting me. How is this like coming back though? It's just harming me. But to what end? Make the spiral scream. Try this. You think I can make the spiral scream? I don't know. Let's try. Use on pot, says someone. Try it on one of the pots. Try it on a pot? Yeah. What about you? What about you, sir? You have a little meter that keeps filling up on your top right. A little white thing. When you used the spell just now, it filled up more. Well, this pot is screaming. So. I Sounds like it, he's saying, let me out. It worked. Huh. Interesting. The pot had blood. Yeah. Do you see what I'm talking about with the white I see meter? what you're talking about, but I don't know what it is. Me neither. So I don't know what to make of it, really. We're bringing back ghost light. And I think we're gonna have to equip the torch. Because it's better at lighting things. Okay, we're going back into the room with the mummies. And I don't really know exactly how to deal with them. Um, do we have a lunacy stat? Is that what that is? Oh, I don't know. There's a bro. I'm just gonna go around them. Yeah, pacifist run. I don't see why I need to fight them. Oh, it is lunacy. That's what that is. It's oh, because it's a little moon. Hello, Mumford. That one has a sword. Bro, calm down. That one's oh, just there's, fine. there's little mummies everywhere. This is back in the book hall. All the mummies yeah. are awake now. I think I was supposed to go a different what? way. Mythology's here again. Of course she That's is. Where the dagger That's was. where the dagger was. And here's where I dropped down. Tell you about the mummy. Okay. What do you want to know about no, the mummy? No, please. <laughs> I can't hear about the mummy. Not no more. I can't do it. 
Julia, have you ever seen this movie called The Mummy? You can tell mm. Chris about The Mummy while you get your tattoo. Uh, Chris will be actively tattooing me, so I think maybe I shouldn't. You think Chris can't tattoo and hear about The Mummy at the same time? No, I think she'll want me dead. <laughs> There's a book on that altar. There's a mummy right here. Mummies don't. Oh, he's still hitting me. Stop! Oh my god. Oh my god, let me through. Oh, I think I need to like get up there and jump. Who's the hottest character from The Mummy? God, that's a hard one to answer though. The Mummy. Literally everyone is hot. The Mummy when he's in mummy form? The Mummy when you first come out of the sarcophagus? Um. Now all the gates are open. When I was a kid, I had a crush on both Rachel Weisz and Brendan Fraser. And the mummy. Man, what are we gonna do? For and me? Brendan Fraser's son from the Mummy Three: Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. He's in Mummy Two, and he was a little brat. I didn't like him. That's because you haven't seen the Mummy Three. You're right. I didn't. Tomb see the of the Dragon Emperor. You're right. I did not see Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just walking around. So is Olive. I'm I'm playing as Olive in this game. Just a bunch of nouns. Says that they are by and have never seen the mummy, and this is not a bit. Um. This is bad. It's kind of like when you when you realize the. Either someone shows you the mummy and you realize that you were by, or you realize that you are by and someone hands you a copy of the mummy. Either way, you see the mummy. I'm so sick of the mummy. I Jacob! Hope, I hope I never see the mummy again. Jacob, this one with faves. Why is there nowhere to go? All right, let's look. Everywhere I go is the Everywhere same. Everywhere you go. Do you have to... I know I have escaped this area before. Is it... Is it this? It, it simply must be this. All right, what's in here? Is this progress? This feels like progress. This feels like progress. I liked the mummy just fine before. Before you started dating me. It's not dating you. It's just the frequency of the mummy related discussions. Is this the right way? Feels like it. Rachel Weiss also in Constantine. Also with a uh, non-binary Tilda Swinton as Gabriel. It's very good. Very good being Tilda Swinton. This is where we freaking came in, isn't it? This is the entrance. This is the entrance. Sure is. Oh! <laughs> Jacob Pro, Pacifi anti mummy. <laughs> it's because Pacifi was something new that I saw for the first time and it was novel and I laughed at it. The mummy is something I've heard about in streams uncountable numbers of times and we've, we're not crossing any new ground with the you mummy know, i quote we're so, saying the same thing about it every time i quote so many things and then i i quoted like two of the same quote twice in a row from the mummy and jake was like all you ever talk about is the mummy so i've, I've made it a bit that i specifically say that i'm quoting the mummy 
Yeah. But there's plenty of other things that I quote on repeat. Yeah, I know. You just haven't noticed. I do notice. And yet, you're taking it out on the mummy. Because we're talking about the mummy right now. <laughs> we're not talking about another movie. We're talking about the mummy. I wouldn't be talking about the mummy if you didn't hate the mummy we're so much. We're talking about the mummy. We're talking about the mummy. Read what? Read. Oh, this. Oh. Oh, the Fed Admire. Oh, I love that. Anyway, if you haven't seen Constantine, uh, I've never read the comics, but I liked the movie. It's fun. There's Keanu Reeves in it. It's you talk Constantine. about that one a lot, too. Just recently. It's been on my mind. For like six months. Yeah, because I haven't watched it. We, can we watch it then? <laughs> I'm just going to stop talking to you. <laughs> you have a problem with all the topics I bring up. A club. Stone club. That's gotta be better than your replica sword, right? I would really hope so. Big damage. Big damage. But low speed, but big guard. We're gonna try it out. <laughs> what the heck was Whoop. that? Whoop. Yep. Bonk. Ooh, you kind of go forward a little bit. Who wishes to be Bonk? There's a door down there. Door the Explorer. Oh. Whoa. Did not trust that. A loading screen. Washed away by Akuma Kila. You got it right that time. I did. I'm making an effort. Hey, we're in the Fetid Mire. Whoop, whoop. Some cool atmosphere in this game. Yeah. I like the vibe of some of the locations. And of course, the music. The Muzak, I like. Save crystal. Save oh, crystal. Praise be. We love a save crystal. I don't know if there was one somewhere in that tomb. Mm. Yeah, I we didn't, didn't, find, I didn't one. find it if there was. I don't have any level up points. Probably because I didn't kill a single mummy. They were hard. But now I feel like I'm going to be in even worse shape. Yeah. I mean, I you didn't... can go back and grind on some snails. I didn't get that mug. <laughs> Go back and grind on some snails. <laughs> Damn, maybe I should, though. Have y'all ever seen a mug? Oh, my God, a rat. A low-level so rat. So fetid. Hey, come here. <laughs> what Pew. the heck? I shot him with a laser. Pew. Hot dog style. Heard a rat. I don't think these rats are even enemies. Oh, slime birds. Oh, you do like no damage. Yeah, because they're slimes. Slimes never take a lot of physical damage. Can you do a spell? I hit him with a fireball, see about that. Boom. Boom. Oh, he's on fire. Ooh. Oh, he's doomed. He's doomed. Fireball's definitely the way to go here. You're out of ma- oh, I thought you were out of magic, but you're not. I was looking at the wrong meter. Light him up! What are you gonna do? 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 I mean, you should just go into that waterfall over there if he's not doing it. No, he was too mad. He couldn't see past his rage. It's the top right meter. It's a... Uh... It's like my Stamina. charge up, yeah. my charge up meter for big swing. Torch versus slime. That's probably actually a good move. Yeah. Can save my my mana, my mana banana. 
We can try it on this slime. Oh, yeah. I think a slime just dropped next to you. Did it? Oh, no, okay. Something weird happened with the side of the screen, though. You've deceived me! Light on fire. Got him! I didn't know if he would, because he's in water. Doesn't sure matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's a great idea. Yeah, good idea, chat. Another bisexual cinema classic is The Princess Bride. I would agree with that. I Princess only watched Bride's that movie great. as an adult. I missed it when I was a kid. What'd you think of it as an adult? I liked it. I thought it was fun. Boo! He came for me. You saw him. I liked... It felt very like D&D &D adventure -y where weird stuff was happening. Yeah. I haven't seen it in quite a while, but I remember it being really fun. And I keep telling people that Stardust is the modern Princess Bride. Yes, if you haven't seen Stardust, you should watch it. Stardust is wonderful. It really is, is very fun and cute. And I feel like it doesn't get the credit it deserves. I agree. Who was in that one that was kind of weird? Was it the dude who plays Daredevil? No. Yeah. It is, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm forgetting his name right now. Matthew? I think it is Matthew. Yeah. Or Matt. Matt? Not Matt Smith. That's Doctor Who. Charlie, oh, Charlie Cox. Cox. Thank you. Not a Matthew at all. Not a Matthew at all. The false Matthew Charlie Cox. Yeah, that movie's so fun. We watched it not too long ago. Yeah, I saw your, that for the first time. It was time. your first time seeing it, and you really liked it. Yeah. It was very fun and cute. It was just like one of those nice, easy movies where you don't want to be stressed out. Yeah, you just kind of feel good the whole time. Yeah. If you want to have a nice, easy time... Burn the rat! Oh, my God. I kind of feel bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> it was more brutal than I expected it to be. Because he died immediately. I'm sorry I interrupted what you were saying to scream burn the rat. That's fine. What was that down there? Just a slime. Hmm. Yeah, I've not read the Stardust book. But why would I need to when I can see the movie? Uh -huh. Hup. I'm glad that made a sound. It was a nice donk. Yeah. There's a bridge. Hey, Is nice there an donk. item across that bridge? River passage. I, thought I saw something I shiny. Think there, there is something. Oh, there's a oh, guy. Oh, the bridge is a little. And there's a guy. A little diddly. There's a big guy. What's this? Antidote. Antidote. Oh! Wow, skeleton, ah. a skeleton in a beautiful dress. It's a slime skeleton. I don't think I can fight this. Time to leave. I'm leaving immediately. I got an antidote and then I got poisoned. I'm not going to use the antidote, though. I got another antidote. <laughs> Maybe I should use one. Oh, no, no, it, no it wore poison. off. It wore off. We'll just chug a lug, a little, little potion. Yeah. Maybe I should equip an antidote. Mm. Antidote. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of neat. Little fungus river. I'm just getting flashbacks oh, no. of Lord of Chaos. Let's freaking go, gamer. I imagine you could set his little slime on fire. You see, I thought so too, but... I mean, it takes a few hits. I'm poisoned. Light on fire? Light on fire. 
Light on fire. Mm. Ooh, can. Light on fire. Light on fire. Here we go. On fire. On fire. Here it comes. On fire. It's not working. No. What is that in the top right? Some wall corn. Oh, another skelly. I can't fight these skellies. They're too hard. I'm leaving. I'm getting the treasure. Treasure. Maybe the treasure will help me fight skellies. Barrier. barrier. We love barrier. Let's see about barrier. Protective wall in front of the caster. Try that out. See how that does. Oh, another way to go. Okay. Now here's the slimes I like to see. Really enjoy that the rats seem to run sideways a lot. These slimes light on fire. Yeah, they sure do. In a good way. That's the stuff. But how do you feel about my barrier? Whoa. It's a bigger barrier than I expected. I was expecting like a little circle around you or something. Yeah, not to like make an actual wall. Pretty cool. Used up a lot of my mana bananas. But who needs them? There goes that rat. Yeah! Oh <laughs> Felt bad about the previous kill, but not that bad. That one made me laugh. That rat never saw it coming. River passage. Where did it river passage me to? To a place we've been. Per se. There's a dead rat on the floor. I think this is the crystal room. If you go there, I think that's where the, the crystal, crystal is. I think. Is this the crystal chambers? Mm, maybe not. So it was a shorter hallway, I think. Which chambers are these? I think this is where you entered. The entrance chambers. Yeah, because that's the door. So we've opened a shortcut, but to what? I'm walking with my right hand. Don't drink and walk. All right, so straight ahead is the shortcut we just opened up. Mm -hmm. Rest area. Okay, that's where the crystal is. It's nice that they mark a rest area. Yeah. Like you're on a road trip. Yeah. You can find a McDonald's, a Roy Rogers. A crystal to touch. And a crystal for burgers. Nine skill points. Oh my God. Oh, oh mama. I think I want strength and defense. That's kind of what I want the most of. Good. I feel like speed is good to like back away from an enemy swinging. Yeah, maybe I should put a couple points into speed. We'll do that. Nice. Level hop. I'm gonna save again. This game is very cool. Yeah, it is. I like it a lot. It's amazing that it's still in early access. Yeah, I think it's just like not like fully complete. Like you can't like finish it yet. Oh, I see. But I'm not sure. So should we go back this way? 
through the... Was, was there like okay. another way to go in this direction? Or no? I don't know. I don't know either. We will see. I don't know anything. Oh, some exciting news. I have purchased a new computer. Yay! Oh, there was that bridge passage that you could do. Oh, but I already went through there, didn't I? Didn't you back away and but say you I, couldn't fight him? I thought I went around him and got what was behind him. Um, I got a new computer. It should probably be coming next week. It is, uh, it's been sorely needed for a long time. Jacob's had this computer for a very long time. And I'm incredibly excited. It's incredibly beefy. Yeah. And it's going to be running everything. Mm-hmm. And I, I've got a new monitor coming. Hey, Jacob and I realized that we were using monitors that were meant for basically office workers. Yeah. Julia's is even worse than mine. Yep. But mine is pretty bad. We're both running... 60 hertz monitors with like eight millisecond refresh times. Yeah. So we we both got good monitors. Julia got a new graphics card. I did. I did. I got a new graphics card. I got more RAM. I got a new monitor should be coming in soon. So I can play all my indie games. Uh, it continued. at just the ultimate settings. Yeah. I, I did say that it was Farka. it was really funny that I we just bought all these new computer stuff and then I'm over here playing this game. Yeah. And I've again I've been playing so Song of Farka, which is a uh, basically 2D. Yeah, basically a 2D game. You're going to freaking get it. Oh my god. Really all right, this is not this is not good still. My donks aren't powerful enough. But it does mean that once I get it and we go back to Elden Ring, I'll be able to run it good now. That's true. Because I had been playing it on stream on medium settings and it was still pretty framey. But now I'll be able to play it on big beefy graphics mode. And we can all see the beauty. Hey! But yeah, most of the games I love are not very graphically intensive, but it'll be cool to have the option to play like everything. It's also just good for work. Good for work too, yeah. Since we got a video edit and draw and all that stuff. Wind, Wind dash. dash. Cause my computer does get a little sluggish when I'm running like Premiere and Photoshop and yeah. Audition at the same time. Oh, I just realized we're gonna have to do the graphics card dance with Adobe Premiere again. Uh. I don't think I will because mine won't have an onboard graphics. Mm. So instead of looking to get uh, a PC, what would you recommend? I built my own using PCPartsPicker.com. Yeah, I, I got a pre-built from NZXT. Uh, they have like a, a whole range of pre-builds you can get. They're a little more expensive, um, but I don't have any interest in building it myself and I would rather it just be yeah, it's done, all cable managed done and... professionally with nice cable management and knowing that all the parts are gonna be good. And... Yeah, and they have ones that are built with like specific needs in mind. Yeah. So if you wanna like stream, they have a streamer computer. If you wanna... Whatever. It's, it's very cool. I was impressed. I haven't gone over the specs. I, it's got an i9 mm -hmm. um, with 16 cores. It's got a uh, RTX 3090 card. Mm -hmm. It's got 64 gigs of RAM. It's got two one terabyte NVMe SSD hard drives. That's most of the important stuff. Yeah.
Oh, I'm down here in the ocean. Let's try wind dash. Whoa! Cool. Right now I have a 2070, but what I'm putting in my computer soon is a, a 3070. TI. Yes, yeah, so we're both gonna be. We're gonna be pretty upgraded. Yeah. You might say. Yeah, it'll definitely help with video editing and doing renders. It's truly just. And it's gonna be a big tax write-off. My my 2070 is is good for basically every game that I play. But editing draw detectives, sometimes I have to turn off heck? all layers and just work on the one layer. So. Devil slime. Wow. We'll burn like the rest, devil slime. Oh god, he coming. Wind, wind away. He coming. Barrier. I got him. I feel, I feel so lost in this game all the time. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of rooms. I've it, never been sure of where I am or where I'm going. It feels like Ico in that every room is very big and empty and there's a lot of them. And a big empty room leads to a big empty room. Huh? Oh! Door? Where, where has this taken me? I think we were in this room before. I think we were too. So, did we just open a shortcut? There's something over here. We may have opened a shortcut. Because there's a door over there. And a door over there. But I just don't know exactly where I am. I imagine this leads to the rest area, sort of. I would love to get back to the rest area. Yeah. Ah! You're lucky. Oh, I see. Oh, we're back here. Okay. So is this the wrong way for the rest area? Maybe. Yeah, I feel like it's the kind of game where you have to just like slowly develop a mental map. Yeah. Of where you're going. Hup! So try the right. Yeah, we'll try the right. Draw your own maps like the pioneers. The pioneers, like early video games, like what you used to do. They would always have like a page or two in the back of the instruction booklet for you to write notes. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. You just put like cheat codes on that thing. I feel like if I were playing it, you know, on my own time, maybe I would draw a map. Yeah. would probably help. That's for sure. There was a question mark back there again. Was there? Yeah. Reverse, reverse. Okay, go forward. It popped up while you were walking. Where was it? It was there, though. The question mark? Yeah. Question mark showed up at the bottom left of your screen. It's like somewhere around here, I think. Try the other side. Was I touching the wall? Oh! Yeah. You're right. Look at that. What is this? Secrets. Ice spear. spear. I got those gamer eyes. Whoa. Zip. Wee. Nice eyes, Julia. You saw it all. I'm so turned around. Antidote. 
Frick off, slime. Taste the flames, slimo. I did find a, a secret room behind a wall, yes. <laughs> Not That's your tapping, secret skill. Okay, I think this is... Yeah. The so rest that... area is over here. Yeah. Okay, perfect timing, because we're at the end of the stream. Yeah. Um, we'll be back, as always, on Sunday. Sunday. Cindy, um, catch us there, and then Droppy will be back on Monday, Monday night stream. Thank you for everyone for your compliments to new draw detectives and saying that they can tell that I put a lot of work into it. I appreciate that. They've been great. Thank you, thank you. Those episodes. Um, that's it, right? That's it. This game is called. Lunacid or Lunacid or Lun Lun Lunacid. Take your pick, but it is one of those. Only seven dollars on Steam. So if it's the kind of game you're into, if you're into this old school dungeon crawling experience, uh, then then pick it up if you if you want to. Yeah. And uh, that's gonna be it for us. Thanks everyone. We'll Goodbye. see you next time. Bye.